Hey there folks and friends, Connecting Dots here. It's Thursday, March 6, 2014 with another edition of Truth News, fresh off the press here. Not sure if you heard about it, but our team news anchor Liz Wall here quits her job live on the air and Abby Martin fights for uncensored news. Should you care? I don't think so here, but before we get into all of that, let's listen to what, what transpired here. That is why personally I cannot be part of a network funded by the Russian government that whitewashes the actions of Putin. Live on air, Liz then quits her job in protest. Hold on a second. So she's quitting because I, I think it must be because of the Ukraine situation, right? But what about all the other things that Putin has done? Why is she just quitting now? Oh, I think you'll have it figured out by the end of the video. I'm proud to be an American and believe in disseminating the truth. And that is why, after this newscast, I'm resigning. Okay, so it's all about the truth, right? Are they really being honest? Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. Let's see. Maybe she didn't want to go down like Phil Donahue or Peter Arnett, both fired from NBC for expressing opinions about the U.S. military. Could be. Wells co-host Abby Martin also spoke out against Russia's military involvement in Ukraine. No way. Here's the result. Now, RT management has offered to send me to report from the ground in Crimea, which I respectfully declined. Don't worry. I haven't lost my job. And she won't lose her job. Guess why, folks? Because it's one of the big things you have noticed here. Alternative news has been psyopted. That's right. Did you really think for one flippin' second that mainstream media was going to watch alternative news grow and just say, hey, you know what? Let's kick back here, folks. We've made our money. We don't really need to worry about controlling the news. Wake up, folks. Come on. They've jumped in first before any of us. Us small-time reporters are nothing compared to the corruption that these guys have carried out way before we got here, folks. Yeah, you'll have it figured out. Don't worry. I've collected all, connected all the dots. So good old uh, Arby, oops, I mean Abby, uh, doesn't believe in Sandy Hook. Can you believe it? Oh, I don't think so. I think she's just uneducated. She hasn't gotten informed enough. She hasn't watched enough of us real truth or videos. Uh, okay, well, let's give her the benefit of a doubt. Maybe she knows nothing about Sandy Hooks because she was too busy, I don't know, with her tennis lessons or something, right? But then again, go watch her on Joe Rogan show, and guess what, folks? You're not even, what, 53 seconds into the show here, and these people have the audacity here to put up the all-seeing eye. Just, it's a, a, a blimp, too. It's only there for a second, but I pause it right there. And, but while they're there, they're talking about how we're nuts if we believe in the Illuminati, the 9-11, uh, uh, JFK, and chemtrails. Can you believe it? Our Abby doesn't believe in chemtrails either. Are you for real? Where's this girl? Where did she just crawl out of a rock last week? Folks, listen, I, I rode a tractor. I lived on a farm here for years. I rode a tractor 60 miles on the, on the outskirts of Ottawa near the airport. I saw planes, land, skid, you name it. Okay, They do not leave these long stretches of, of puffs of smoke, what we call condensation trails, or chemtrails, I should say. This is not normal activity, folks. Normally, you just have a, you know, a, a short a condensation trail that quickly evaporates. You don't have these long lingering. I would and these long patterns. Like, come on, as if this girl is. I don't believe that Abby has not looked up at the sky and say, "Oh, yeah, okay, this is not a normal pattern." Folks, I hope you can see through the bullshit. And you know what? Who else do they pr promote? Of course, alternative news has got to ride both sides of the fence. It's only common sense. So they have Mr. What? Fearmonger Alex Jones keeps scaring the crap out of you because he wants you to send some money when he has his money bombs. Get real. And guess who's interviewing him? Yeah. Mrs. Don't know nothing about Sandy Hook and chemtrails are a pile of BS and we're a retard if we believe in them because she actually says that. Conspiracy retards if we believe in chemtrails. And here she is interviewing Alex Jones. Can you not see the hypocrisy of this? Holy jumping. And looks, look who's right below her. Right, Mrs. Truth. I don't think so. Again, with more fear-mongering folks, I, I'm sick and tired of this. I hope you can see through this crap here. And Mr. What? Max Kaiser, Bitcoin specialist, telling you to buy the Bitcoins. Did he tell you to sell them at 1200 at the top of the market? 
I hope so. If you're still so stuck in those Bitcoins, you should have jumped out. Bitcoins, and oddly enough, before he started promoting Bitcoins, he came out here on YouTube promoting gold and silver as the only way to store your wealth. Yeah, he was even referring to the world's richest families, the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, how they're storing tons of gold. They're not storing Bitcoins. They're, stalling, they're storing something solid of real value. If you bought Bitcoins, get rid of them. All I can say is you should have bought yourself some Mario Brother coins or some Warcraft coins because those coins are more likely to be around in another 2,000 years instead of these Bitcoins. Folks, you're being a BS from both sides of the fence. Alternative news has been psy opted here you know i've talked about look at thomas brinkley recently has been killed you think these folks really care about any of us of course not they gotta put out episodes they gotta make money it's all about money kaiser's on rt news too like come on they're, they're playing both sides of it and of course you know our good old uh, max here if you don't believe in global warming he calls you a conspiracy retard i see so we have the one girl here on the chemtrails who's on rt news and she's telling you if you believe if you believe in chemtrails you're a conspiracy retard but then we have Alex here who's telling you, you know that they're for real, who has uh, a guest here by the name of Max Kaiser who tells you that if you believe in, in global warming, then uh, if you don't, sorry, if you don't believe in global warming, you're a, con you're a conspiracy retard. Enough with the BS here. They're playing both sides of the fence and none of them are reporting on the truth here. Did RT News ever report here? Did they ever say anything about the 73 independent journalists that died here in 2013 in Putin land? Of course not. They're not going to report that. They didn't report either in 2006 how the troops here, their abuse rights, and they end up killing another reporter there. Independent reporter. And she's not the first here. You know, only real journalists will be giving you the real news and not out there creating money bombs, disseminating disinformation. It's one of the big things here. I've said line by omission, censoring, you know. No one talked about these 300 journalists that were killed in Russia since 1993. And you're sure never going to hear that on RT News. My advice to you folks is to stay clear of these mainstream line sack of you know what. Okay, I just proved to you the hierarchy is corrupt here. I'm going to lower it down here to another low level of minions. Because the minions here on, on YouTube, there's a dime a dozen. I've showed you here with the recent Edward Snowden documents that, was leased, that were released. He showed, he told, he squealed, he whistleblowed how the government has agents online pretending to be this, to be that, only to mislead you. And oddly enough here, I'm following up my own case on Thomas Brinkley and his assassination. Yes, he has been. I've found conflicting reports. And sure enough, in one of his videos, he talks about how there's this woman online who's harassing him all the time. And oddly enough, I'd reported how the first newspaper that reported on Thomas being assassinated or being shot by the police uh, referred to, well, they did a character assassination at the end on page three, where they talk about they've interviewed a 38-year-old woman who says that she was scared and uh, scared of him and he was a paranoid guy who believed that uh, Sandy, uh, sorry, that... Uh, the uh, James Home Batman shooting revolved around him. He was at the center of it. Well, he was definitely involved, no doubt about it, but he was not paranoid. And it's it's weird that uh, Thomas happened to mention this woman in his video. So I think there's a little connection there, folks. But my, my advice to you is be careful who you watch. And, you know, Thomas, he's not the first one. We lost last year. No shit, Sherlock. He was another YouTuber, a truther. They pretend to do a drug bust. The guy didn't even do drugs. A 49-year-old gentleman here, clean as a whistle. Killed him on the spot, too. Enough with the bullshit here, folks. Stay clear of these people. You know, you, you, someone said to me recently, because I've been busting here, showing how there's YouTubers with the Fukushima thing, they're giving a load of BS, riding both sides of the fen fence. Uh, I got visual proof on Reactor 4, and they're referring to FOI documents and saying, no, it doesn't exist. Folks, come on, man. Why would you want to listen to somebody who's going to fill your head up with a bunch of BS? you got to cut your bullshit out and go for the good stuff, the informative stuff. People that have a not out to make a money bomb and make cash off you or disseminate lies. Anyways, that's it for this video. Hope you, you stay informed. Take care.